Now in this video I will show you how to implement settings or preferences uh, in an Android Studio application. What we have here is an existing uh, base uh, application or Android app <coughs> just with a <coughs> sorry just with the uh, main activity which is here uh, a blank blank uh, page and I want to add some on this my existing application some settings which uh, I want to open and uh, modify and then uh, read at the at runtime. So what we do uh, the the easiest way to do something like this in uh, in Android uh, system is to go there and say um, click either on app and then with the right click on <coughs> here. Uh, activity and there is one uh, thing is called uh, settings activity and this gives you a template uh, additional template now it says okay <coughs> we have here the settings activity the title itself is settings and there's a, a hierarchy hierarchical parent so it's a parent uh, the return button <coughs> on the settings if there's nothing written like there, then you uh, drop, uh, uh, skip on this extension buttons, then you click on main activity. So <coughs> it looks for that class um, package and it says, okay, um, target sources, yeah, and it says, uh, when you push b when you push the return button, then it will go back to the uh, main activity class. Now, okay, we say finish, and now this gives uh, implements um, <coughs> a Java class and a resource. Here are the resources uh, with a one file is called ref headers, and all the other stuff are settings. This is the main uh, page. We will s see this now. Now on the app, nothing happens. We have no opening of this settings buttons, a settings page. Now what I do here on uh, that default is, uh, is say, okay, I implement uh, a button and say, okay, this is my button settings, <coughs> and on click is button settings on click, and the text is open settings. You may also implement it in the menu and on uh, and additionally I also want um, a further button which says okay read my settings <coughs> read setting and button setting uh, button read button read on click now when we go to the text uh, I will go there and say okay please system Android would suggest to write a uh, read uh, <coughs> create a button read on uh, click in the, the handler and main activity and also the other one here the on settings create please re create this one so I don't have to type it now on the uh, the first I we say okay <coughs> open the settings which means uh, in this case we would say um, what was it now I have to look it up in my default <coughs> I always have to look something up. What was it? Um, here, I copy that. Um, where are we? We are here. Okay. What we say here is we say uh, we create a new intent and say uh, intent is a new intent at the actual page so this is the uh, main activity and uh, open 
open the settings activity class so when you go, when you are there I will demonstrate it settings activity and there the class of it so this is this one what you see there there's a um, it implemented um, one class called settings here and this is the class there of there and this is a entire block which handles all settings itself um, okay now we do this we started uh, we're emulating this <coughs> system runs builds the cradle Now a system, uh, the emulator started there and what we did now we have an, uh, the opening button for that settings and we, when we open this <coughs> we will find the, uh, the template which is installed by, the, uh, uh, by Android. We have here three headers and these are these uh, the uh, XML files here in, <coughs> in headers in uh, that's what Android installed so we have here three different headers and you may you may always um, uh, <coughs> uh, alter this stuff and change it so maybe you take something out or if you only need one branch of that and we we're now playing on this uh, uh, structure which we, which we have there so these are three pre-installed settings and we go now to the uh, to the one example <coughs> simple stri uh, string example we have here this uh, display name and as soon as I click there on display name there is a name which we, which we uh, can enter <coughs> so we say uh, um, hello hello name uh, doesn't matter. Now I changed a setting, a preference, and uh, there are other examples there. This is um, an example of uh, an option button, for example. And what's behind there? Uh, the system uh, installed these headers, and there are uh, three subfiles, pref files, uh, with the uh, leading uh, leading stuff, pref. So this is the general, and this is pref generals, pref notifications, notifications, and uh, pref sync. So now when we go on the uh, pref header channel, uh, general, uh, we will go there. You will see there is a. This is the the display name, is <coughs> when we open this one, it's a edit text preference. When we are there. You will see when we click on that file and the the, the file itself is uh, declared as a uh, as a preference then you have this selection controls which you may uh, drop in there so if you would drop a list there a preference list then then you would the system would uh, install a, a little frame where you uh, may select uh, some uh, array for example and a text stuff uh, the system behaves like this so that when you when you click there then it pops up an uh, entering field uh, ed edit text where you type in something so now this is the hello name <coughs> uh, hello uh, hello variable or uh, enter entered at 12.45 my value or my string what I entered there and now this setting is in the system in the behind system in the ver uh, variables here the values and it 
it keeps that stuff here in the strings <coughs> and we will now have a closer look to one to out to this specific uh, to this speci specific setting this is the display name and this was in general uh, pref general and when we click there and go to the text we will see this is the key example text the key uh, the, the control itself has a key and the key is itself is the example text could be another uh, stuff and now when in a usual uh, application we want that the system uh, that we we are able to set a, uh, a value a preset value preference and then we want to read it back in the in the main activity so now we say okay please read that stuff and uh, show it in this uh, in this field or in a toast for example now at the uh, here show it here in TV setting TV read for example <coughs> what did it read um, and now we go there uh, we said okay we have here in our m main, acti ma uh, main activity we said okay the first stuff was at the button on clicks uh, event we said okay start the activity the setting and we entered something in the setting in the intent and the intent wrote a value to our string value and now we want to read that stuff and I always have to look it up that something with uh, default um, here shared preference I will go there it's not useful to type everything by uh, manual stuff so what to read back the value is we take a shared prefer uh, preference pref and we say okay my preference manager should uh, get the default share preference uh, of uh, this application of this uh, there's only one default share preference so this is nothing then give me a, a handler which gives back uh, my preference values and then I say okay give me a string back from the handler the handler should get me a string dot get string I'm also able to get uh, something else back so got uh, give me the string of the key and the key was here we said okay this is my key field this is my control and this control has a key and the key writes in there so difficult and now all we, what we have to do we have to remember give me this the value which we entered in the key and yep <coughs> no not this one strings back bam 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 yep uh, give me the value of this field and the second uh, argument is a default value at the moment I would say okay uh, simply 3x and then we uh, <coughs> we give it out as a toast for uh, for a fast solution when I open this one so as one as uh, once again when we change this one in the actual time is 49 this is the actual setting and I go back to my application now somewhere at the application and the page I would say okay read my setting so the uh, it reads it gives the, the <coughs> reads back the value which is set by the intent uh, and this is the easiest way to uh, work with the settings you're also able to write your own settings um, but you have to be first a bit careful I think it's easier to follow and I hope I could help you in this case a little bit this works for me 
and you're also able as i said to uh, do it manually to implement that code uh, by yourself if you like that please give me a subscription